Hmm. Stop pushing me out of the way. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Mine Colonies. Now I got myself the Nicholas Ye Hoddock. He's uh not quite sure what he's doing. But he's he's finishing off the last little bits of the warehouse. Oh. What did I say? <laughs> the storehouse, the warehouse is done. We can now start storing stuff in here, except for of course this little bit here that I have to fill in. Uh, right now I'm just gonna plug it with a bunch of stone like that. I think that will that will that should no, it's not gonna work, is it? <laughs> Let's go down that way and uh, see if we can find our little little hole here. Of course. The vines are working fine. I'm gonna have to transplant them to the places where I want them to stick uh, to send the wall. Just make it a little bit more, um, more authentic. Okay, so where where is this hole? <laughs> Maybe I should just go through the hole and then stick, and then fill it up from that end. I think that will make more sense. And then we'll make our way back, um, like we should, back to the village. Let's see. Oop, no one. So I want to keep that table there. So let's get rid of you. And oh, I see. Right, look, right there. This is staircase is right there. So this shouldn't be difficult. This should not be difficult. I mean, I can see the vines in the staircase. So oh, there it is. It's right there. Right there. So we need to go and close that off. So we can do that. Let's see, beam, beam. No. Yeah. Well. No, thank you. Not that that one. That, like that. There, there, and there. And then I think, yeah, we have to deal with that. You can see that it's sticking up. But there's there's a bit of, yeah, there's a bit of um, a vine growing right there. I I don't I don't want to destroy the vines because they're they're reasonably important. So we'll have to leave that. Oh, sh sh stomach is. Going haywire. I want to transplant all these vines to up there so that uh, it's a bit easier to, to reach and it, it grows faster, of course. Um, also, I want to cover this a little bit with vines so we get a little bit more of that uh, that aged kind of look. And eventually I want to start replacing some of these cobble with brick and with rock and stuff at and stone. Um, so that it doesn't look too too square like that, that that line there for instance I want to try and diffuse that line that's the goal eventually so you the the the, 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 the rock and the the village and the, the towers and everything else they look a bit more like they belong you know what I mean that's what you want but for now we don't have the stuff yet we don't, we're not that at a stage yet. We have that many, that much uh, material that we can actually start doing that. Throw that stuff away. I also need to uh, move this, or not move this, but uh, replicate this, and then all the way along there, all the way to the back there, and then that will be done. But we have to wait until we get started with the walls. Uh, so we want to start with uh, moving the builder's hut. But first, we're going to have to. Uh, we have to do a couple things first because I noticed. <laughs> yeah, I noticed things. Um, it, it, it tickles in my brain so now and then. <laughs> I noticed that we have somebody over here. Hello. Hello, Ethan. So Ethan here is our first guard. He's our first um, crossbowman. So he needs a bow to continue to work. So we'll work on that. So we need to go get him a bow. If we can get him a bow... Uh, how? I also need to work on the staircase. So we're going to do that as well. This episode, we're going to start making a staircase here. So that we can move a little bit easier along here, and this kid, why does he keep? What does he keep doing on the? What, what are you doing on the wall? What, who are you? And oh, that's that's the new blacksmith. But I'm not quite sure why they are on the, on the roof. It doesn't make sense to me. Ah, okay. Let's just. Let's just I'm just gonna push you over. Yeah, get to work. <laughs> uh, so it's a new requests and no inventory. Alright, so she will probably, he, she, whatever, why are you, uh, Oscar, it's a he, it's a he. He will probably demand something from me in a bit uh, when he gets to work. Let's go make a bow. For that, of course, I need some string and some sticks. And then we can get the, the, the leather. We can get started on doing some leather work for the, uh, the guard 
and then uh, hopefully he'll be able to start patrolling the area a little bit better. There we go. Got ourselves a bow. Let's get some leather. Do we have any leather? I think we do. We should have. Yeah, we have twelve leather here. Um, and two more leather there. One more leather. Leather, leather, leather. There we go. Twenty-nine leather. Okay, perfect. We can make ourselves uh, some garments. Build them all. Of, oh, no, not that. It's so underground. <laughs> That was underwear. All right. So, nope, nope. Grab that. Come back here. Thank you. Put the rest of you away. I don't need you. I need you and you and you and you. I want to get some... Um, uh, do we want to have pink or do we want to have white? I want... Do we have any yellow flowers? I do have some yellow dye. I want to get some yellow dye. I always dye my uh, um, guardsmen's clothing when they're at the very beginning and stuff like tier one and stuff like yellow. And when I, once I run out of once I run out of color, I stop doing that. Uh, but pretty much all the guardsmen have a nice yellow tunic. You do, and then uh, it'll be all be good. Can we also need to put this tower away sometime? Just get started on the, on the third tower. We have currently two towers in construction. Yes, I know. I don't know. I'll give you this, and then you that that that, and then we'll set you. To assign guard to them automatically, find patrol automatically, blah, 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 patrol. Okay, there we go. So he will start patrolling this area. Of course, there is no wall right now. So he's going to patrol. Okay, apparently he's going to patrol up there. <laughs> Get your ass in there, dumbass. All right, well, he's going to be stuck up there. He's never going to come down again. Right, let's go take a nap because it's getting a little bit dark. And I think, is he going to stay up there the whole time? Is that what he's going to do? I'm not sure. Oh, ships. I, I, I need to put a fence here as well so we, can, we, so we don't die to our deaths. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go take a quick nap. Naps a poo. Boom. Let's get something to drink, take a sip. So I got this stuff. I just heard a spider. Probably in the roof somewhere. Where are you, Spieter? Maybe behind the building? There's a chicken here. So you laid this egg, so it's yours. Take it. Hmm. I don't know where the Spieter is. I do see something down here. What's going on down here? For another tower that we're building. Huh. Oh, it's just a chicken. Never mind. Never mind. It's nothing. It's nothing. A little bit concerned. I thought there was something in here. With the with the uh, with the waiter, with the cook. But there's nothing here. So we don't have to worry. There's a bunch of chickens. All right. So now we have our warehouse up and running. We're gonna put some torches here. There. Boom. This is going to help us store all of our stuff. Uh, we don't have to worry about um, uh, about storage anymore. We will. I'm, I'm going to move everything in here um, over time. I'm not going to do it right now because we have too much to do. So the next thing up to be built is I think it's the guard tower. Is it the guard tower? Uh, let's see. What are you? What are you building? You're building the delivery man. The delivery man hut. Yes, that's what we want. We want that one. So its its current position is over there. Uh, it's gonna be built right next to the to the blacksmith. And hopefully, once that's built, um, we will have somebody running around delivering all the stuff that needs to be delivered from the uh, well, basically everybody else to the to the to the blacksmith, for instance. That'll be very useful. So we want to have that person. I'm not quite sure if we have enough capacity villager wise but we do have a couple of children so they might grow up and then that would be, be fine so we need to get some planks some oak uh we have already got a whole bunch of other stuff it's already done uh two trap doors do i have enough i need to get some wood we predominantly need wood so it's mostly wood 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 and so let's go get some let's get started on that what do you need oak wood 64 oak wood <clears throat> let's get started on get some oak wood this is where the uh, delivery man hut is going to be, and we got we got so many things that we have to build. We have to start. 
with the farm and yeah so it's it's a lot of stuff that we have to get through so is there anybody actually working here yeah joshua is working here somewhere oh there he is so i did put on a couple of walls here so i wanted to continue with that but i didn't actually don't, i don't have enough for walls i can i can build some more just a little bit more bam like that grab you so 18 bits of wall should be enough to finish this bit so i i, I added a bit of wall over there basically to protect my little friend joshua here from getting smushed by uh by ender people all right so let's get rid of you and let's continue with this then um flower like that like that like that like that now we have one bit of wall left i guess we can put it here why not put a torch here as well i want to put a little bit more torches on here there I mean, this, this, you can still cross hmm just grab this thing <laughs> put a torch there instead like that now i want this bit of wall to go there I'll grab you, put you there instead. Put you there. Put you here in the corner. Stupid llamas. And there. Excellent. I guess I'll put you there as well. So we have a little bit of a wall here. It's not a, a like a protective wall and stuff. Like that. I mean, everybody can just basically just jump over this or run over this. I mean, it's, it's just <clears throat> it's just to keep wandering mobs from getting in too close. You know. That's all. It's not meant for uh, like protection from any kind of attack and stuff like that that's not going to happen this is not going to prevent any kind of attack from happening <laughs> this is they're just going to walk right around this and then attack anyways so let's go deliver this wood so that our friend the builder can get started on the delivery man hut the sooner we can get that done the sooner we can get our production automated and running oh. uh so in here we got wood for you let's get some planks there we go and then we'll have uh, some planks to deliver. There we go. And then you should be good to go. Request, cancel that request. Perfect. Um, we need 30 slabs. Can I make slabs? I can make slabs. Let's just give you a bunch of slabs. 42 slabs is perfectly fine. The rest of them, yeah, you can do whatever you want with them. You're not gonna, you're not gonna go? <laughs> Put the slabs in there, perfect. And then it's uh, two trap doors. Um, so one, two, yep, there we go. Mm, bam. That's also done. He's already at 4%. He's a fast builder. And then the rest of it is just stairs. 40 stairs, that should be enough. Yes. All right, inventory, let's put the rest of the stuff in there, like that. All right, excellent. We got all of that beautiful stuff done. Now we already have another delivery man hut here. I mean, uh, hut building block thingy. But we don't want to use it because we can't use it at the moment. We don't, we don't want to have. We don't. I don't really see the need for two delivery men at the moment. When we get to the certain uh, stage where we're so big as a village and stuff that one delivery man will be enough, then maybe a second one will be fine. But for now, this will have to do. Let's put you in there. So the delivery man will start filling this storehouse. And then we will upgrade this to level two um, in a bit. We'll see when we do that. Now I was thinking about this place, right? This is this looks like a nice underground, like cavernous kind of place. And I was thinking maybe we could use that for a barracks or something else. Or otherwise, we can always just put that barracks in here, all the way to the back of the back of the wall there, at the gate, the, at the end of the tunnel. Put a nice big barracks at there at the end and that would because let me show you because we do have the so it's, uh, bup, bup, put you down there we go not decorations ah oh, ships we need to we need to first make a barrack <laughs> cancel that all right so see. we need to get a barracks going first That's a uh, barracks tower, barrack place. So this is a barracks. Here we go. That, that, that's, we need to have a block of iron to be able to make one of these. Let's go and get a block of iron. We need to go up there. 
keep forgetting. I, th I keep thinking that I have my supply hut there. <laughs> That's not the case. No, it is not. Right, let's grab some, um, need a bunch of iron. Didn't I, wasn't I cooking? Oh, there we go. Bunch of iron. Put some iron in there. There we go. Put you in the middle. Put you on top. I need some wood. <laughs> Why don't I have any wood? I don't. I don't have any. I, I, don't know, I do have some wood here. Oak wood. There we go. Put you there. Put you on top. Put not this, this around. It gives me the barracks. Perfect. Now I'm not saying that we should build the barracks right now. Uh, but it would be useful to have because um, troops, you know, you want to have as many troops as you want as you possibly can get uh, as quickly as you possibly can because attacks. So I want to I want to get started with a bit of barracks. Let's first go outside so we can actually see it because I can't deploy. I can deploy it on the ground here, but it's just you can't see it properly enough. But we'll just we'll just go over here. All right, this is a good spot. Bam. So decorations, no barracks. So this is the acacia one. It's pretty useless, <laughs> and it's 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 uh, it doesn't say much. It doesn't, it's, it's a non nothing. It's it's just basically just one big light tower kind of thing. But we don't want the acacia one anyway because we're not living in the in the grasslands. We're living here in in the mountain areas. So we want to go and we want this thing to be underground. So we don't want yeah here we go. the dwarf one. This is what we want. The dwarf one is what the, is the barracks that we want. It's the barracks that we need. Uh, this puppy here gives us a whole bunch of... This is really the ceiling. So these these blocks here you see floating in the air. Those will be at, in the ceiling. These will be around the, uh, the perimeter, these walls. We might replace those with bricks and stuff. I'm not quite sure. Let's go to level 5 and you can see. Cause this, is, this is what the barracks will look like once it's complete. So it's, it's quite... It's quite tall. As you can see, so it's a, it's quite a large, tall structure. It's it's not it's not small, no. <laughs> and it has two levels, so these things will be hanging from the ceiling there. Um, these this is the level that they will be uh, patrolling on uh, once all the towers are up. Uh, but this is the this is the the dwarfen kind of a tower, uh, barracks that we want to build. So we want this puppy inside the mountain. That's where we want this one to be. But because of its so because of its height and you can see it gets it gets pretty close to the top of the of the, the, the of uh, well, close to the top of the uh, the wall. We don't really like that. I mean if we put this up underground <coughs> there'll be a very high chance that it would stick out to the top and it would basically destroy the mountain. We don't want that. So if we wanted to put the barracks into the mountain, we would most likely have to build it down there instead. So not, not like at the end of the tunnel here. Uh, it, it would fit, right? It would fit. So if I, if I was to put it here, for instance, and I was move it towards the wall, and you can see that it just it just stretches, it just it just touches the top there, right? So it would fit. It would fit because we have to go down here and stuff like that and. If we were just to just to this is move it here, so we can we can see that. So the roof segment is right. That, that's the candle thingy, but the roof segment is is right there, so it would fit in the mountain. So we could do that. Just not entirely sure how it would fit, how it would look at the back of the mountain. But let's just first go take a nap, and then we'll figure this out. Oh. <laughs> Wrong button. Sorry about that. Okay, let's look up here. So we'll look for a bed. Gimme, gimme, gimme a bed. So, bam, you in the bed. If you got something to drink, take a sip. I got some apple juice. It makes it look like I'm drinking whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a fan of whiskey. But I do drink it so now and then, but I'm, I don't drink it uh, all the time. This is first. Put the barracks in place where we want it. Now I don't know where the entrance is. <laughs> okay, here's the entrance. This is the entrance to the barracks. Let's move this all the way up into the walls. 
So we want this puppy to be situated here, like that. So we'll replace all this stuff with, with bricks and stuff and stone once we get once it's built. But let's just first put it in place, like there. And then let's go up the mountain. <clears throat> so we have to make sure that it doesn't stick out anywhere. So let's go up the mountain to the back of the mountain. Let's see if it sticks out. And it does. <laughs> like a sore thumb. Hmm. All right, so that that won't work. That won't work. You can see it sticks out way too far, right? There's no way that we could hide this thing in the mountain like this. So either we have to go deeper or we have to go further into the mountain. But right now this mountain is you know, it's, yeah, so basically that that's the the end of the mountain there. Um so we could put it underneath that bit of slab. We could put it right next to the storehouse. Not quite sure if I want to do that though. But I also don't want them want the barracks too far away. So the thing is this, right? We have mountains. We have a mountain over here. We can build it into. We have a mountain over there. We can build it. And we can also build it into the mountain on that side. We can have the barracks in there. You know, just like attached to close. You can get to the barracks from the from the uh, from the from the restaurant. So you have to just walk down that path, and then the barracks will be built in that wall there. I think that would be the best solution. But of course, as I told you before, I want it in the mountain and not like just. Like that kind of in the mountain. Oh, the liver man's done. Perfect. Well, that went fast. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even get the time to put down this barracks. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, another thing we could do is we could build it underneath the, um, the, the the center tower. We could put it in this mountain here if we wanted to. So let me just think it over. Think it over. I think. I think I. Um, See that tunnel that we have over there, right? I, I want to go and build another to continue the tunnel all the way along to here and then have it come out on this end. Um, see that bit of wall, right? It's, it's thick enough to house the barracks if we wanted to. Oh, you're digging this thing out now? I thought you were working on the other delivery man's hut. Huh. Alright, well, anyways, did you think? Did you think? We'll just go and check out the delivery man's hut, and then we will continue contemplating our positioning of the barracks. <laughs> so this is the uh, the blacksmith, by the way. We didn't actually look at it quite well enough last time. So this is the front. So you have the uh, the 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 what's you call this again? Where's my worker? Recall you? Can I recall you? Oh, there he is. <laughs> I didn't know where he was for a second. All right, this is the blacksmith. This is his, um, what do you call those things again? Bloody hell. Why do I, why does my brain keep falling asleep when I need it? All right, so that is the, um, uh, it's on the tip of my tongue, seriously. <laughs> and we'll skip it, we'll skip it. So inside, this is the front of the building. And then you have a little bit of a, um, a courtyard here where you have some of the material stores and stuff. In this case, it's just mostly wood. And then, oh, I can't go that way because there's a bit of wall here. Let's just get rid of this wall. It doesn't need to be here anyway. Then we have um, a bit of wall here as well that I need to get rid of. There we go, bam. And then we have the back of the wall, uh, the, 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 the barracks. It's a little, I mean, the, the blacksmith. It's a nice little uh, bit of just normal facing seriously this is this froze over again oh, it's winter time isn't it we got some glass and of course we can look into the uh into the court we have some iron over there some wood some for for reasons <laughs> siding we've got a little bit of a chimney kind of thing here which is quite nice there is no lava in here or is there? Yeah, here's a lava. Here's a lava. It goes. It acts like a chimney. So that this is where the uh, forges all of his steel, 
and then he cools it off in here in the in the, the water bucket kind of thing and then we have two doors one going out into the courtyard uh, that's a bit of stone right there all right so that we got stone here we got a little bit of path thingy situation we got wood oh, i like it i like it a lot also we got a lot of torches here two torches oh, one two three four <laughs> Well, they really want to keep this courtyard safe and secure, don't they? All right, well, that's good. We got, we got like eight torches out there, but they only have like two torches inside here. Oh, yeah, four. Four torches. <laughs> and some lava. But it's, it's very sparse. There's not much else to build uh, in here at the moment. But this is only level one, so we'll have to see what happens with level two. Level two should be a bit more interesting to look at. Anyways, that's the blacksmith. <clears throat> we'll keep an eye on this one. We'll have to upgrade it to level two. This is the delivery man. And we should have, we, we've already seen this type of delivery man before. We've had it in the first season. And we can't go in here yet. That opens up in level three, I think. Something like that. All right, well, that's it. So we got the side of the house, the front of the house with these beautiful little stores. And I'm not quite sure what these are for, but I'm guessing you can put packages in here. And, uh, and then do your thing. <laughs> And we have the delivery man inside, we've got a little bit of a desk here, and then of course we would have the trap door here so we can close this off, so it looks like a bar. So you can deliver your um, your goods here, or whatever, and then he picks it up and puts it in the delivery man's hut, uh, chest kind of thing. There aren't any chests in here for storage, so not really that much they can store at the moment. So, But this is, the, this is where the delivery man is going to be situated. And then later, once this is up, I mean, uh, up and about, I mean, working, because you can, you can barely see a desk down there at the, at the very end. Uh, there's no way to get up there yet. There's no, there's no stairs for me in here. There's no, uh, no trap door, no nothing, no ladder. So we can't go upstairs yet. But we'll have to wait until we upgrade this to a next level. So we had, that goes the staircase. And then at the back of the hut, you know, we got the normal, like, beautiful facing. Uh, look at the diagonal framing and stuff. Oh, I love it. And then we have the uh, guard towers coming up over here. It's going to be uh, securing this area for us uh, later in the game. It'll work out, it'll work out. Once this is built, we'll have a bit more security. Then we'll have, in total, I think, three guards? Yeah, so we have the guard on top of the hill, the guard tower that uh, the builders have is currently working on, and then this one here, which is gonna be built after that. So then we'll have three guards, and hopefully with the guard tower, uh, with the guard towers uh, built, we have enough protection to make sure that the mobs don't get us easily that easily as before so we can get more protection for these people over here uh, and then once with the barracks are done then we can have enough to combat any kind of raiding attack so it'll be fun <laughs> all right so this uh, we, we, i don't think i want to build the barracks in hmm. So this area is going to be closed off. We're going to put a gate here. So we can't build the, the barracks in here. We can go a little bit deeper underground. This is this, if we go down here, for instance, we do have some space at the back here. Like here, for instance, we can put a guard tower, I mean guard post here in this wall. We can even go a bit lower, like into into this area here. But although the, 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 the um, storehouse is right above us, so that might be an issue. But we could put this puppy the barracks uh right here instead right this is a nice little spot for it i mean the the warehouse is there and it stretches up to that point there for instance and then if we were to put the um, the barracks here into this bed we should be able to stay in the mountain uh, underground of course and uh, not damage the warehouse. That, that is a potential. This is a potential spot where we could put it. I mean, I could put it a bit deeper into the mountain. There's also, of course, the ability to go even further down. But I, I think this will be as far as we want to go. I mean, this is going to be a training barracks. It's not going to be a barracks where we, uh, <clears throat> we, which we frequent a lot. And we're gonna we're gonna build multiple of these barracks all over the place under the grounds, uh, one above the ground and a couple of them underground. It's just that I'm not quite sure exactly where. I could also put it on this side. So instead of having it um, on that side over there, we can also just place it underground over here instead. So we could potentially just put it right like here. 
So I mean, not 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 here because it it, it would definitely influence the uh, this the position of the of the, the the warehouse. But this should be underground. Yeah. So that should still be underground. So that won't. Yeah. Well, hmm. Yeah, it should be fully underground. Oh, that'd be cool, right? <laughs> so if you put the the barracks here. Everybody's going to sleep. We put the barracks here. Um, we'll need to move it a bit further into the wall, though. Let's just first look for the gate like that. Let's move it back into there, that position, to make sure that that stays on. <laughs> That's the light. It goes off by itself. And um, <clears throat> so, what will happen is that these towers here, these stone pillars, will be used as the pillars to hold up everything else and then yeah i think this will be good so that we'll go, we can put it like so and then move it back a bit further into the wall it'll go all the way up to here so any guards that get trained here to get outside they can use the staircase all we have to do is make sure that if it sticks out anywhere It doesn't do so uh, as obvious as pretty much everything else. I don't see it sticking out anywhere here. So I like that. I think that would that that positioning should work. Ow! <laughs> that should work for us. And then, uh, and then we can start getting some troops in here into the village start securing our terrain a bit our village a bit more this would be nice now if i build it this is gonna be it's gonna be a lot of stone that comes out of this it's gonna be a lot of stone so let's move it a bit further into the mountain like so this area will have to be cleared a bit so we can get a little bit more spacing here and then of course yeah this, is, this will be fine this will be fine I don't exactly know where we will breach, but if the if we do breach, I think we can work with it. We can, I think we can work with it. Let's just go ahead and put this down. Well, first, let's just see where the uh, main block is. There it is. That's the main block. So we want to be absolutely sure that we can get that. That's over in that start there position. Perfect. We need to dig for it. <laughs> let's put it down to get this block. <clears throat> it's going to be a lot of stone that has to be removed. I don't mind because I can I can always use more stone. Huh? Wait, didn't we already pa did we already pass it? Where, where is it? <laughs> I am one hundred percent sure we put it down. Did we put it? Did we not put it down? What? <clears throat> All right. Now I'm a little bit confused. Where to go? Uh, don't tell me I have to look at this. <laughs> I have to go through this entire mountain to find it now, huh? What? <laughs> Decorations? No, I don't have the barracks in my inventory anymore. No, stop throwing things. What happened? I mean, this was the position for it. Where'd it go? What? <laughs> no, okay, now no, I'm not so sure. What the hell happened to my block? These things don't just disappear. Oh, there it is. It's weird. Hmm. 
Well, let's build it. Let's see what happens. That's odd. <laughs> well, let's go take a nap and then we'll we'll figure out what happens in the morning. We got some more things to do. I almost fell down again. No, I'm not entirely sure. Are you in the roof? Are you in the roof? Yes, you are. Good. You stay in the roof. I'll come pick you off in the morning. <laughs> Taking another lap. Here we go. So you have something to drink? Take a sip. Good stuff. I still have to fix that stupid roof. I keep forgetting about it. I would like to just... You know what we're going to do? I'm just going to quickly put down... That. So we don't have to take the stairs. This is much faster. Anything else on this side? No, I don't see anything. That's easier. It's easier. A lot easier. I mean... Do I really want to destroy the roof to put down a torch here? Let's just, let's just remove the roof here. Segment. See what we can do. Put a torch there. And I guess we'll just put the roof back again. I think that should work, right? Boom. Do that on the other side as well. All right, this one I already did. I already did that one. Oh, ships. <laughs> that is not useful. There we go. Like that. Put you there. Beautiful. All right, that's done. This should keep them from spawning. At least in the temp for temporary until we upgrade this puppy again to level three, for instance, mm, then we'll have a bit of a problem. But that's different. All right. So how many people do we have in the village now, Tom? So let's look at this. So we have in total eight out of eight villagers. We have one child, uh, one blacksmith, one cook, one out of two rangers, zero delivery men, one builder, one uh, zero knights. Sorry, near zero knights. And uh, what's this? Fake explode? Fake? I'm not quite sure what this. Is. Oh, a fake event? Explode? Uh, 79, 98, 19, I'm not quite sure what this is. I don't know. We don't have to worry about that. Okay, so that's okay. Powering is automatic. Citizens can move in. Yes, they can. I think we need to increase the number of huts. I want to build more of these villagers' huts. Because I, I need to get... Uh, first of all, I'm, I want to get that... Uh, wait, 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 does that help? Finish building? Yes, I think it looks like it is. I need to get more villagers. I need to get more villagers. Uh, so we get some more troops and everything else. But as it stands, we have so much stuff that we have to build before. We can get that. We need the barracks need to be get done first. and the, Which, of course, we're going to help with. And um, the... Uh, um, the remaining uh, tower over there. There needs to be a guard tower needs to be built. And I'm not entirely sure if I want to have the farm first before we start working on more villagers. Hmm. Anyways, let's see what he's need. What do you need? I need a pickaxe to continue. Okay, that's fine. No problem. I can give you a pickaxe. Actually, I'm going to give you an uh, iron pickaxe. See what you do with it. See if you can actually handle it. Can you handle it? Is that question thing went, went away? So potentially it could work. Okay, he's run. He likes his iron pickaxe. Uh -huh. I'm not quite sure how far he is, but let's go first go and check what he needs um, in regard to the guard tower. Six more torches. We need to make some more torches. I don't. I don't. I need to go on a coal run soon. I'm running really low on coal. Uh, there we go. Torch is done. Perfect. So he should have everything. It's a, it's a very simple tower. For The level 1 tower is pretty simple, so he, he doesn't need much. It's just mostly digging out, because it's a dwarf tower. So right now, this, this is as far as he has to go, but eventually it will reach up all, almost to the top there. And then we can start um, editing it. <clears throat> All right, there's a tower block, guard tower block, perfect. This is going to go, it's going to take a while. It's going to take a little bit of a while. 
And he's doing his best, but he's not like super fast. Oh yeah, we still have to go and visit our little friends down below. Uh, let's put a torch here on the floor. I like it. It's, it's still a bit dark. I mean, there's a lot of torches here. <clears throat> but I mean, it is underground and no matter what you can what you do, it's still going to be a, a reasonably dark hole kind of thing. All right. But we're going to have a lot of other things down here. So the barracks are going to be down in that hole over there. And then we'll have another bunch of buildings in here that we can handle. That we're going to use. Uh, I also, well, the guard tower is going to, is going to, um, the guards from the, from the barracks are going to guard this, this entire patrol area, this, this area here. But I do want to have a guard tower here so that we can, can actually patrol this area properly. Uh, but the soldiers themselves will be mostly um, housed in the guard, in the barracks, of course, and on top of the wall here, all the way around. And then the second barrack on the back of the mountain, on the other side of the mountain, their job is to patrol the walls on that side. So I'll have uh, barracks per quarter all the way around the village. So, and that way we can protect the village um, from any kind of raiding from all sides. And that's what we want. We don't want to have... We don't want to have a... Because there's a limit to how many soldiers we can have per barrack, right? So if we if we um, position them all around from just one barrack, they'll be spread too thinly, and uh, by the time we get reinforcements there from other barracks, for instance, they'll already be slaughtered, and the number of raiders can go all the way up to 60, I think. So we can have 60 raiders attack the village, and that's that's pretty much the maximum amount of raiders that we can have uh, attack the village. Will attack the walls and a lot of them will be of course killed off by our uh, troops or by our soldiers and stuff and mostly by well me but 60 is a lot and eventually we will get overrun i might increase the level the number from 60 up to uh, 100 <clears throat> just to test the defenses and then to see how far we can get that is of course if the rating system does actually work. It should work. I've, I've seen it happen before, but in the last run, for instance, um, the raiders didn't spawn for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. But I haven't had any uh, alerts yet that the raiders have spawned, so I think we'll be fine. The first first levels of raiding attack and stuff will be one and two, and then that will increase exponentially until we get up to 60 or a hundred depending on what I do with the conflict but we'll have to see with that anyways so we need to get uh, enough troops what can we do enough troops enough defenses to withstand an assault from a hundred raiders that's gonna be fun <laughs> but that's for the next well, that's good. we'll see that in the future uh, right now uh, that's it for this episode um, I'm going to I'm going to help with digging out the barracks um, so that we have enough space there. I don't want to waste an entire oh, I, tried to I don't want to waste an entire episode um, on building that guard tower with you guys. I'm going to do that off camera. It makes it easier. Ah, here we go. This is the guard tower. It's already ready to go. So this guard tower is going to go all the way up to the, basically almost to the top there. Um, I left this space here, so it's one, two, three blocks wide. So we can still put a road here, and then we can still have a little bit of space to modify the tower if we need so. This is a lot of space in the run the sides and stuff at, <coughs> which are technically unnecessary for the guard tower, because I only want to have um, the entrance open, and that's basically it. Everything else will just be rock. Because it needs to be like it, it needs to look like it's 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 hewn into the rock. It's not like it's hewn. The rock is removed and then this thing's built, <laughs> like what happened this time. Uh, so I need this a bit more covered up. And of course, then we also have this this little bit of a problem here where we have this bit of open space here. I'll turn this into a nice little courtyard. We'll put something there, but for now, you're here to eat. Good, you eat. But we have our second guard tower up and running. 
Now we just need to wait for some uh, one of these children um, to grow up, and then hopefully he will decide to become a guard tower, uh, a guard guardsman. Otherwise, we'll have a delivery man. Yeah, that'd be good. Okay, now the build is starting the the barracks of what, and we'll continue with that in the next episode. So you guys have a nice evening. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.